Welcome back to Minish Cap. So before we can go on to the next area, we're going to need a specific item, which you might be able to tell from the title of the video. But you might also be able to tell this is the longest video thus far, just because along with that item, we're going to be getting a crap ton of other stuff. There's too much stuff in this game. Yes, very feature-rich. All right, so now that we have the pain, the cane of Pachi, we can get around a lot of other places, which is pretty good. And of course, remember to chop all the grass you see. Obviously, gotta have the kin stones. More importantly, the seashells. So the sanctuary is just downstairs as soon as you enter the Hyrule Castle. No, I didn't notice. Well, maybe if there was someone here. Yeah, no one could see it but us. Never mind, we're the only ones here. No one could see it but us, because of the walls. Shut up, Ezlo. Hmm, four statues with swords. I still love Gunkle's face. <laughs> like fridge pickles, let's infuse this. The sword takes on the colors of the elements. And now it's red. I would have preferred purple. But that's just me. It was only green for a moment, and then purple for an even smaller moment. So we don't get elemental powers. Instead, we get something else. Uh, I think we can read as... Okay, fine. I mean, Gunkel is a child, but I don't think he's that young. So you have to charge up your spin attack. The charge takes a while, but when you come across those glowing tiles, you can produce copies of yourself. The amount of copies you can produce depends on how many elements you have infused into the blade. Thus, by the end of this, we will actually have the four sword and can make four copies of ourselves. Yay for continuity. The four cane. So, as you can probably guess, this makes for some really interesting puzzle mechanics later on in the game, when you can get three and four as well. Yeah. Ways that change just depending on where the placement of the flashing tiles are, mm -hmm. things like that. And also the walls, because as you saw as we left, your doubles cannot survive going through a wall, they immediately dissipate. I should be thrown out of the castle for this, but... <laughs> Let's bomb the castle. No problem. I'm gonna quickly go check up on the king. Make sure they're uh, keeping the Zelda statue looking nice and clean. <laughs> Man, all we see is a wall. Yeah, have you finished your quest yet? And you can fuse with the king. He's just a green one. I don't have a kinstone, but luckily he's one of the people whose kinstone gets given to someone else. There is a point where you can no longer fuse with him. The king's name is Daltus. Interesting. Yeah. I kind of like that all of the kings have different names. Hotho. I can't fuse with him. Maybe it's pronounced like Patu, like those freaky birds. <laughs> Sweet rewards. It's gonna be another kinstone, I bet. Maybe Zelda, can we fuse the Zelda statue? <laughs> <laughs> Gunkle, now is not the time. Puts a stone in her eye.
Say what? I'm a snake. No, it's me. Oh. <laughs> Vadi, you're up in the clouds. <laughs> Maybe it's just because his eyes are on the side of his head. He has to turn his head to see the anything. Come girls, just think you couldn't fit this in more organically, fellas. And he's just suddenly, Vadi suddenly shows up and says, I'm connected to Ezlo. Plot twist. Okay, bye. A moonwalk, damn him. <laughs> Surely this will stop him. We got the Wind Waker Moblin showing up. These guys are a little tricky because their spears actually do block your attacks for a decent radius. Well, if that was uh, Vaddy's greatest plan, I don't know. I think we're going to be fine. Say what? But the Minish have legs. <laughs> And only when you become evil can you become a man. This story is all about growing up. You know, Ezlo, that feels like something you should put away safely. He's so tiny. Yeah, and his body is pretty cute. Ezlo's cane is a bird. Just pointing that out. <laughs> What a vile fart. He looks the same, just slightly more human now. It's like they're just calmly having this conversation right now. And when you're done with that, will you finally do the dishes? <laughs> You will now suffer the most horrible of fates. Being annoying. <laughs> I could have killed you, but you know, this is worse. yelling at his face. <laughs> yeah, after that one, we kind of couldn't give gifts anymore. There's just no top in that. Thinking in the context of all the other Zelda games and the things that they tend to reuse, Minish Cap feels more and more divorced from all of them. Oh yeah. I mean, it's an origin story, but a lot of this stuff is very different. Because there's no Triforce, there's Light Force. And the Light Force didn't come from the gods, it came from the Minish. Kester Wilds is the place where we need the Pegasus boots. Oh, that rock smash is so convenient. It's very nice. But now we can push this block. Oh, it takes so long to charge up. I wonder if Gunkle feels it when his double walks into a wall. <laughs> Ow! Oh man, look at all this grass. It's a travesty that the spin attack isn't as useful in this game, especially when you give me this. Uh, there is a technique, I hope you learned it, that makes this a lot more fun.
I think by the time that I did, I had done all the Kinstone stuff, just about. Right. That thing you learn is more of a novelty anyway. Hey, it's back! <laughs> yeah, as soon as you leave the area, it all regrows. That's a hell of a fertilizer. Percy here was at the festival. I didn't know Hyrule had a poet laureate, but okay. I mean, someone's got to write the Legend of Zelda. I guess so. Might get a much different name. Could you fetch it? I can't be asked to walk three squares over. <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed. I don't want to go back to them. Why did you never put the kinstone together? <laughs> I wonder if anyone in this universe has thought to push two pieces that match together without having someone else with them. I guess it defeats the purpose of the kinstone. We're having a psychic vision now, I guess. This is something only we, the player, get to know about, not the heroes. Hey! I love that they use some of the King of Red Lion sounds for the king. Hey! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think it was just, uh, what, what is this? What are you doing? Oh, it's Patho. I thought that was the king's new voice. Yeah. Oh, dear. So now Vadi has taken over the king. He's gone Loki pretending to be Odin. And he's also gone nuts. Let's say he pulled a Varen. That too. nothing. We have very strange wind in Hyrule. Yeah. So these guys are actually called Ketons. Oh. Like the fox from Majora's Mask. Yeah. I don't know. I don't remember. Do they knock rupees off you if they run into you or something? Yeah, if their blade hits you, you lose a bunch of rupees. That's it. Oh, my wallet's full. Oop. The moblins are quite dumb. They charge at nothing most of the time. So that sign would have said that this is Caster Wilds. Such a cool musical theme here. I really like it. So that's not water, that is gunk. And you don't immediately sink into it, but you slowly sink into it, and you walk very slowly. You probably won't make it to the end. Yeah, you need to be able to move faster. Yeah, don't forget your Pegasus boots, like everyone has. Well, we need to go find some. Are we to assume that the Pegasus boots are such a prevalent thing in this land that they had to make a sign about it? Like everyone has some? I guess so. It's like, go get the newest Nike Pegasus boots right now. <laughs> Hot in stores. You will hit so many walls. Just do it! Oh, all the gossip in the cafe. Confused earlier. Oops. <laughs> Gunkel is known for blowing things up. Huh? 
Feels like we should talk to the dude at the shoe shop. Unfortunately, he immediately passes out. And starts eating his shoes. So can we get Ken Stone fuse them while he's asleep? <laughs> he reach into his pocket, pull the stone out. <laughs> I like that voice clip particularly. Yeah. Hello! I'm sure he won't mind if you steal them. Ah, Syrup the Witch returns. We cannot get it from the Minish Forest, though. Hey, wake up. Wake up. <laughs> I think we stabbed him in the fingers with the tiny sword. He'd at least stir a little bit. It's Beetle! He doesn't run a normal shop. Here he sells Pika Light, which are things you can put in your bottle and they'll, for like 10 seconds, boost the chance of you finding certain items. That white Pika Light right there is really useful for kinstones because if you go into a big field of grass, it boosts your chance to find kinstones in grass. And it's not just green, you can also find red kinstones out there. To be honest, I don't think I've ever used it. Well, it's 200 rupees, and again, it doesn't last very long, so like you need to be in a giant patch of grass to really get anything out of it. Mm-hmm. But Talon's finally back, which means Malin gets out of the way of the Minish Hole so we can go in and find their key for them. And we can't unlock it from in here. Which only works from the outside. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think they're going to be a little suspicious about how you did that? No, only he has the power to turn the key. Why would you keep your one and only spare key inside the house? Damn right. Thank you, Gunkle. <laughs> Do you really have to sing every time? Oh God, they're even in the houses. Yeah, you guys might want an exterminate. Oh, we've got a cow in the house. Okay. That cow's one of the random people you can fuse with. I didn't get it this time. I always find it kind of fun to fuse with animals whenever you can. So like, why do cats, dogs, and cows have kinstones? They want to be in on the fad. And of course, same with all the cows out here. Say, there's Lake Hylia right there. It's pretty small. There we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Nice. Priorities. You're killing their food supply. Uh, Eslo? <laughs> <laughs> I love eating live animals. Oh, God. I'd like to see Eslo try to eat a cow as a hat. That's a minish area. And there's a portal. Still can't get in there, though. We can't get up here. It sounds like it's saying tree, 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 tree. <laughs> and my wallet's nearly full yet again. Actually, how big is, is the big wallet? The max? 999? I think there's a giant wallet or a huge wallet or something like that. Uh, this is like Hylia. It's also really small, though. It's just this square. 
It's more of a pond. So along with the red Octoroks, there are also blue Octoroks, which are no different. They're just around water more. Oh, it's a sweet little puppy. Little shaggy dog. Ah, this is the dog of the guy who runs the shop. Pee -pee. This is around the point where I always have kinstone pieces. Yeah, if you're cutting a lot of grass, you're gonna have them. So us getting that bottle from Stockwell will involve the dog. Ooh, there's an element here. Yeah. Can't get across the water and I can't jump. Well, uh, this is one of those Zelda games you don't jump in. Yet! You say that like it wasn't the norm until Breath of the Wild. I know. Well, all the other games where you actually jump, it requires an item. And this is no different. Now... <laughs> yeah, Eenie. These two brothers are Eenie and Meanie. I think Eenie... Possibly Meanie. One of these two is one of the people whose the Kinstone fusion is missable. Mm -hmm. Or if anything, it's bugged. I might be thinking of another one. But one of two is bugged in, I think, the European version, and they fixed it in the American version. Yay, there's Gorons. Yay, there's like eight of them in the whole game. You powered him up. Rock and roll! Is rock and roll a thing in the Zelda <laughs> universe? I guess it is. I guess so. So the way this thing was bugged is when you talk to one of them, I think it's Meanie, but you didn't have the Kenstone piece and you left after you had already talked to him and left the screen, you would lose that fusion and you would never be able to get it back. Again, it was fixed in the American version, but it's a weird little bug. You would be able to talk to him again if you stayed on the screen mm -hmm. and then fused again. But if you left, then you it was permanently lost. Stones to get more kin stones. At least the red ones. Those are good. But you need a lot less of them. Yeah. I'm glad that Ezlo rises a little bit when you get to the cliff. Like, you couldn't do that before. He's a wizard. He can defy physics. Get in there. I guess we've answered, can Octorox swim? Not in this game. Well, they're land Octorox. The mayor has a lakeside cabin. How fancy. It's a little weird that that's the sign. Oh, there's a golden Octorox. It's a little weird that that's the sign, but... It almost feels like a misdirection, because Syrup's hut is also in this direction. <laughs> They're roommates. So when you kill the golden enemies in this game, you just get a crap ton of rupees. Yay! This is right across the way from the main entrance of the Minish Forest. Mm-hmm. 
which we can't cross because it's deep water. So much grass. <laughs> Yo, where's Maple? I like the remix of her theme. Yay. This uh, theme is as old as Link's Awakening. Yeah. And we went straight from that to this. What a leap! The wake up mushroom, alright. It smells so awful. It's not even a real item. It's just, when we go back to the Shoemaker, we press R to wake him up. I don't really need her potions, so I don't deal with Syrup much at all. But if it's a surprise, there is a Kinstone fusion involving her as well. We'll be back. It's weird, in most games, the blue potion is your maximum potion. It heals everything, or at least it heals both health and magic. Mm-hmm. In this game, it's like her basic potion. You have to unlock the red potion, which is an all heal. Ray, hey, hey, hey! About to break out in song. <laughs> but now Melon's selling milk in town. And like in Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, you get two doses. And it heals you for, like, five hearts. It's a decent investment. Yeah, it's not a bad item to have. And also there's a thing later I mentioned. For an optional thing, you would also want a bottle of the Mount Cornell mineral water. You'll also want a bottle of milk for that optional thing. Mm -hmm. Shuffles the mushroom in his nose. <laughs> Maybe he did. Oh, thank you for bringing me in. Yeah, it woke you up. Obviously, we get a reward. That's how economics works. and shined up for you, boy. After I scuffed them. Pegasus boots work like in all the other games. But again, you need to select them to a button. It's an automatic R thing. Mm-hmm. Which I feel like since we have the shoulder buttons, it should have been an option. But whatever. Now, this is another thing where they sort of taken away one of the abilities because we cannot use our sword to joust like normal. We need to unlock that ability. Yeah. So, I'm thinking of the shoulder buttons. The R shoulder button is primarily an action button. They could have used that for the Pegasus. I think if you held it while standing still, you could charge up. The L button is the Kinstone button, so can't mess with that. Good. More things that we can't get to because of the guards. Wow. <laughs> You've released a dangerous animal <laughs> in the garden. I don't think that's lucky. Let's go kill it anyway. Now, at around this point, because Vadi has told the guards to go out and search for the light force, this side of the garden doesn't have guards. The other side does, but they're still in place. Later on, they'll start patrolling, and then we can't get back there. Let's kill that golden rope. After we go down here. Let's kill it first. Okay, let's kill it. Oh man, the thing's fast as shit, too. Well, so am I. So, I think in the Oracle games, the golden monsters weren't really powered up in the sense they just had a lot of hit points. These things 
actually get better abilities. Yeah, I think the gold knocked rock shot gold. Right. Ooh, yes. Yes, all of the masters claim to be the true master. Yep, there's not just the one in Hyrule Town. There's eight of them, I think. Mm-hmm. Of course, he can't see, so... No, we need to be able to light the torches before we can get anything from him. Yay! Now we can blow even more stuff up. Nothing new yet. Maybe you do have the biggest wallet. There it is. Yeah, you can unlock this immediately after getting the Pegasus boots, so why they turned it off, I, I don't know, whatever. They just had to pat the swordsman thing, I guess. I guess just to give you a nice round amount of tiger scrolls. So the possession technique is backflip palm. To be honest, that's pretty hard to do. <laughs> Maybe. That's why I can't do it. But now that I have the Pegasus boots, I can help out Anju with something. A little easier, at least. There's at least one more item you want to get before you try to do all of our minigames. Mm-hmm. I can't get to that. And I don't for a long time, because I thought I couldn't. So first thing, go across the bridge. You pretty much always need to either be using the Pegasus boots or grabbing a Kuko and throwing it in the direction you're running. The white Kukos, when you throw them, they'll keep running until they hit a wall, basically. Sometimes it can be a bad thing, like they can get stuck under the bridge. And that can waste a lot of time. The golden Kukos, they stop running after a point, so you can pick them up again. Mm hmm So, like, in a way, the white Kukos are faster in multiple ways, but... Just one more. Five seconds, oh no! Guard got out of the way! Get up. <laughs> oh, oh, last second! Last millisecond! Wow. Some pro chicken throwing there. I wonder how long you actually have. I wonder if you're able to get the ch like as long as it hasn't completely faded to black, you can still get it in. Growler, growler. I want to fill him with beer. <laughs> That's a joke for all you craft brew lovers out there. Oh boy, another one of these things. And dog haters. Yeah. For a lot of people, good luck means unleashing monsters on the world. Boy, that was lucky. The snakes aren't gonna kill him, I'm gonna kill him. It's gonna kill me. I'm not a spectacular fighter. Nah, spamming the sword is the best way to kill things in this game. Oh boy, I recognize that. No. Yeah, he's back. It's everyone's favorite if you're not in this country. So isn't Tingle based off of one of the developers? I don't know. I think he is. I want to say he was. I've thought about it, and I, I imagine the hate for Tingle is a little needless. Yeah. Because like, he, he's just a doofus. That's really the worst thing about him. It's more in Wind Waker, where he actively inhibited your progress. Right. Otherwise, he's just kind of pathetic. I think it's just... He's not 
a bad... Oh, there's others. He's not a bad character. He's goofy, he's funny. I just think he fits a lot better in the Japanese culture mindset as that kind of character. Like, I don't know. It just... The American audience doesn't like him very much just because he doesn't really fit our... I don't know what the word is. I don't know if you know what I mean. Like, we have clowns and they have Tingle. <laughs> sure, yeah. I'm making a lot of sense tonight. I mean, like, I don't imagine it's an entirely anti-feminine thing, because, like, he's very unmasculine. I, mean, yeah. I don't imagine it's that, necessarily. You would think, like, this generation would embrace him more, because he's a 35-year-old man who really wants to be anything else. Right. That Goron warped in from the side. Yeah, I saw that. So he sells kinstones. Yeah. It's a limited amount, but they're decently expensive, so unless you play like me, you may not end up buying all of them. Mm hmm. You have to buy all three of these before he restocks. Blue's 200, the green is 50, and the red is 300. But with the other Goron, you might have noticed there was an empty space next to him with a Goron face. Mm -hmm. The Gorons really only exist to break through that cave. And it's like, as you go through it, you ultimately find six Gorons, and all they do is get to the end. Right, it's like they're your personal work slaves. Basically. Please give the stamp man a break. But we finally did the fusion with the postman. What that does is it inspires Stamp here. That's actually his name. All he does is stamp, and he is stamp. It inspires him to start up a newsletter with Swift Blade. So as we go through the game and get all the Tiger Scrolls, each time a new newsletter will be available to buy at the post office. They cost like 200 rupees, and they're not worth it, but I'm gonna get them all anyway, because completionist run. Obviously. And he also gets a companion. Who does not help him. Who is doing literally nothing. <laughs> I have my job, you have yours. Right. The thing is, by the time you get the Tiger Scroll that unlocks this certain newsletter, sometimes the information in it you will have long known by now. Right. It's not necessarily congruent. But you might remember, one of these trees had a portal. And in classic Zelda tradition, smack your face in it with the Pegasus boots. And sometimes you get some things, in the case of the glowing ones, they are indeed portals. That's how you get the top off, snacking your body into it. Not just the top, you sliced it right through the trunk. The, I've been here for 300 years! This is another dude who, as soon as you meet him, you don't kinstone fuse with him. But you do later. I think he's like the very last one I find in the whole LP. Right. Because I just didn't think about him at all. He doesn't have time for you. At least not yet. Next time, we're not going straight to Caster Wilds. Caster Wilds, thankfully, is pretty short overall. Mm -hmm. Or at least I managed to cram all of that and the temple that's directly connected to it in one part. But now next time, it's going to be another shorter part, getting more of the Kinstone stuff. Also because Tingle and his brothers have shown up. We met Tingle. We saw, I think, Knuckle is the pink one. That's probably Ankle, actually. It's, there's Knuckle and there's Ankle. How up are you on your Tingle lore? I'm very up thanks to this game, because it gives you their names as you fuse with them, but <laughs> that dude was probably Ankle. Knuckle, we can't meet yet, because he's in a place we don't have the item to reach. But we can reach the one dude who's not their brother. He's just a hanger-on who dresses like them, and he has, he has a completely unremarkable name of David Jr. He's a big Tingle fan. I guess so. Which is weird, because in Wind Waker, he was their slave. Right. <laughs> Maybe this is uh, pre-Wind Waker, before they enslaved him. I mean, I guess it is. Isn't Wind Waker, like, one of the last ones? Or the whole 
King of Hyrule's underwater. I don't know. The timeline's fucked up. Worrying about the timeline. It. I know. I, it's I, like, as soon as as soon as I said it, I knew. I know. Yeah. Well, it's like as soon as the Hyrule Historia came out and they gave the timelines and the split and everything, I realized, oh, it never actually mattered. Right. Whatever. It's just a thing here. Tingle, tingle, kululimpah. <laughs>